bounce kebab on my arm. Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to Let's Make a Mod episode 27 of the series and this time we're going to be focusing on advanced blocks. So a lot of people have been sending me messages and comments saying, hey Steven, how do you make our block like glowstone? Give it a light value or even make a block unbreakable such as bedrock or even give a block the gravitational, you know, physics such as gravel and sand. So we're going to do all of that for one block in this tutorial. So it's going to be very, very simple. It's not really that hard. So, you know, it's going to be a fast tutorial maybe. I don't even know. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Here are all the steps we're going to be taking. First off, we're going to give one block some gravity. And then after that, we're going to make a block unbreakable. And then we're going to give some light value to a block. So uh, you're going to go to your Eclipse. Open up your Eclipse. Go to your mod underscore Minecraft where we have already made a ton of items and blocks and all that great stuff. You should have more items than me. Anyways, um, you're going to locate one block that you want to give all these features to. Or you could probably even you, ch you know choose two. Or you could separate them. You can make one block unbreakable. Then the next block, you know, have some light value whatever you want to do it's your mod it's not my mod it's your mod anyways what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna give all of these features to one of my blocks which is gonna be the green solid block so this is the block I'm gonna choose and uh, what we're gonna do is locate this class right here because every block that we've made has a new class with it so this is the class we're gonna be looking for which is called the block green solid we're gonna locate that class which is fairly simple because I've already found it so I'm gonna go here to show list and I'm gonna go ahead and choose it which is right here block green solid there it is so uh, what you're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna we're gonna extend this right here you see uh, it says right here uh, public class block green solid we're gonna extend block sand we're not gonna extend block anymore but before we extend that we have to go to our uh, our block sand so right here in your whole entire source code bed what you're gonna do is locate block sand so you're just gonna scroll down a little bit till you find it because you're gonna be copying over one code that's it it's gonna be one easy code and here it is block sand so you're gonna open that up and the code you're gonna be copying is right here public static boolean fall instantly right here so just go ahead and copy this you're gonna copy that this is the only code you need just the very top one that says uh, fall instantly equals false just copy this and uh, what you're gonna do is go back to your block green solid and just paste that wh wherever you want you could paste it you could paste it uh, right here it doesn't really matter paste it anywhere you like and there you go so just copy over that line of code that you got from block sand and you're good to go. But now what you need to do is go here to uh, public class block green solid extends block and make sure it says extend block sand. There you go. Now you have changed it. So it's not it's no longer block anymore. It's block sand. And I'm not sure if this will work for block uh, you know gravel but there's no need to do block gravel because block sand is the exact same thing and all you have to do is that. So once you have done that, we are done with the first step. We have gave one block our gravitational uh, physics. So now launch Minecraft and then go into any world that you like. And let me go ahead and make myself the uh, solid block itself. So I'm going to get some green gems that have the letter S to it. And here it is, the green block. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it down anywhere we like. And it's probably going to take a little bit of while before it falls down. So uh, if this is your first time using the code, then just wait there for a little bit and it should be able to fall down. Usually it stays there for like a couple seconds, then it'll fall down. So there you go. You could hear the sound that it sound it still sounds like a solid block, but it still falls down as a normal sand. So there you have it. That's really cool. I think that's really awesome. So if you guys want to make some, you know, gravitational blocks, well then there you have it. Now you know how to make it. So now let's give this same block that we are using unbreakable feature so I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit my game exit off and then we have to locate our mod underscore minecraft we are done with this section we have to now locate our mod underscore minecraft where we have the uh, code at so where's my mod underscore minecraft here it is so I'm gonna click on here now locate the public static final for the green solid block here it is so scroll all the way to the very end where you have like dot set hardness dot set resistance dot set all that stuff if you're gonna give it some unbreakable feature you could get rid of hardness you don't need that anymore because it's already gonna be unbreakable but you could keep it just in you know future sakes so uh, at the very end right here before the semicolon you're gonna type in a period and that period that dot you're gonna see a list of things that you could mess around with. Look at all of this cool stuff you could you could just mess around with. But uh, sometimes it'll crash your game, so beware what you're gonna put. So put dot and look for set block unbreakable. That's it. Once you have done that, you are set. You have now made the block unbreakable. That's it. We are done with step two now. So dot set block unbreakable, and that's all you have to add to this line of code. So now let's save all and then press play. 
And now I'm going to go to survival mode, get my pickaxe, and uh, let's see if I'm able to actually break the block. So I'm going to go into my inventory now, go to tools, get myself a diamond pickaxe. Now I'm going to change my uh, game mode into survival if I don't spell everything, you know, incorrect. It's zero, isn't it? There we go. So how about I just start to mine this block? And look, it's not mining because it's unbreakable. There you go. Now you have, you have made this block not only super, you know, gravitational. Look at this. You have gave it gravity, and not only that, it's unbreakable. Oh, that's so bad. And next, we're going to give it some light value. Hey, look, this is my green gem. Awesome. So now we're going to give this same block some light value, which is going to be super simple. So let me just change myself into game mode one again, because uh, I'm going to be flying around showing you guys this. So now let's go ahead and save and quit, exit off our game. Now we're going to give this block right here some light value, which is the same exact thing as we did for the, uh, the making it unbreakable. Scroll all the way to the very end, right before the semicolons, right, be, uh, right in between the semicolons and the parentheses, you're going to type in another period and locate right here, set light value. You're going to look for that. So now click on set light value. And in the part one, that's the, uh, the radius of how bright you want the block. So you can leave it to default five. Oh, that didn't work. So hold on. Let me just highlight that and put five. You could leave it to five. You could give it 10 light value. You can make it as much as you want. Maybe even a hundred. It's probably going to light up your whole entire world and probably crash your game, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at five. So not only we made our block unbreakable, now we have a light value to it. So this is what you need in order to make glowstone and whatnot, because it gives it some light value. So let's go ahead and save all and press play one more time. And we're going to be officially done. Let's go to single player, go into any world that we like. Now I'm in creative mode, so uh, I'm going to scroll, I'm going to go all the way down here, not scroll. I'm going to go all the way down here, get myself more of these blocks, which I still need to get some green gems. So let me get more green gems. I'm going to close this off so it's super dark. I'm going to put down the crafting table and make myself another green gem. I'm going to put down another crafting table and make myself another green block. I'm going to grab that and place it down and check that out. It now has light value to it. That's awesome. We are officially done with this tutorial because we have done everything. This block has gravity, it has unbreakable, and it has a light value. We gave it so much cool features. Check this out. It's going to fall down. Whoa. Imagine just playing Minecraft and this heavy thing comes down and you can't even break it. Imagine this. Imagine you can't break sand. That would be so cool. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it about this tutorial. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. We have gave this block some pretty cool features and that will end off this review. And also when the block is falling down, the light turns off and then it turns back on. So that's because it's updating its chunks. If you guys are following along and you really like this series, be sure to leave a rating before you leave. I would really appreciate it. And let me know what you guys want to see next. I am just doing everything off of my list that I have in my Minecraft forum. So uh, anything that's located there, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, review it. It, such as making a custom bow, making some new mobs, um, you know, probably making a boss mob. Who knows? I'm going to be covering a lot of new things in this series. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Leave some support. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.